To bootstrap the growth of our channels, we need to optimize our videos for search. And the video title is very important to optimize our videos. But then again, we also know that the video title is very important for our viewers to convince them to click our video, right? So the video title has two purposes, one for the machine, the SEO part, and one part to intrigue people to click. But there is one issue. Look at this example, for example. I optimized my recent video around audience retention YouTube. This is one of those search terms that you find here, which people enter into the search bar, right? And what they usually enter is not very intriguing to write into a video title. It doesn't convince viewers to click. I mean, imagine audience retention YouTube. It sounds boring. Why should anyone watch this video, right? If it's only titled Audience Retention YouTube. So with this latest video, I applied a nice new strategy. Let me show you. Here in the number four optimize tab, where you optimize your metadata for your YouTube videos in the Morning Fame keyboard research tool, we have Audience Retention YouTube as the target search term. And obviously we want to have it in our title. And as you can see here, I completed this search term with a sentence. YouTube just loves it. So I got a little bit more creative about this title. I have the target search term in there, audience retention YouTube, but I made it with a colon here and then started a sentence, this sentence, which is very intriguing for viewers to read, right? So it is both worlds. The machine reads audience retention YouTube and the viewer just sees the colon, okay, new sentence, YouTube just loves it. And that is the intriguing element in the title. So we have the best of both worlds. Let me show you a few more examples from other niches. For example, mastering hip hop Ableton is one of those search terms that if you do videos about that, could be a target search term for your next video. So what I did here is mastering hip hop which is of course the beginning of the target search term. It should always be in the beginning here. But then I did this vertical line to make it easier for viewers to read this sentence. So they see a new sentence starts here. Ableton makes it 10 times quicker. And that is the intriguing part. So again, we have the SEO part and the intriguing part for the viewer, but they overlap a little bit to make it overall shorter because we don't have much space to put in our title, it should be as short as possible. And the Ableton part is basically the crossover part of the SEO part, but again, also part of the intriguing element that we add for the viewers to read. Great technique, right? Let me show you a few more examples to give you a better idea. Here we have keto diet recipes. And what I did here, again, I split up the search term to form a new sentence, recipes that taste like heaven. By the way, the sign that I put in there, like the dash or previously the vertical line, whatever you take, a colon for example, don't matter to the YouTube algorithm. You can use whatever you want, whatever is better for the viewers to read. The idea is that they can read it much quicker. They see keto diet, of course they search for that and then easily read the second part, recipes that taste like heaven. By the way, big shout out to Michaela, who taught me this technique recently. By the way, if you speak German, then I left a link to her podcast, which is all about YouTube growth as well, which is really great. Feel free to check it out. And I have more examples for you. Here we have Christmas DIY Dollar Tree. And here again, I applied Christmas DIY Colin. And then Dollar Tree has new decor items you'll love. By the way, also a neat technique to emphasize a few words that are very important for the viewers to read. You know, everything with a purpose that the viewer reads the title more quickly and thus gets more easily convinced to click your video. There's basically nothing worse than having a too long title that some people don't even read or is then abbreviated in the end because of the limited space that you have on YouTube when it's shown below the thumbnail. All right, let me show you one last example. So I hope that I have covered most of your niches. Here it's about a game, Cloud9 CSGO 2019, which is again a very boring title, right? But you can write Cloud9 CSGO 
2019 changes how you play. Something important about your gameplay is coming up and you have to stay in the loop basically. That's what the title says. Of course, with 2020 approaching, it would be a better idea to use 2020 here because more and more people will search Cloud9 CSGO 2020 instead of 2019. All right, this is a neat way to combine the SEO part and the intriguing element that the viewer has to read in order to get convinced to click your video for a higher click-through rate. Really great, let it overlap as much as possible so you can cram in both purposes that the title has into as few words as you can. But then again, there are some people who title their video in a different way. Their approach is to go all in with SEO and optimize the video about multiple search terms even. And that's what I wanna talk in the next episode of this series. And if it's not out yet, then subscribe here and ring the bell so you don't miss this next episode. Cheers, my friends.